Hey guys, welcome back to the episode 2. Today I'm going to talk about basic WordPress plugin folder structure. Although in the last episode I promised to make this video about custom meta boxes, but decided not to do so because I want to create a separate video about custom meta boxes. So let's get started. Alright guys, in the last video we have just created a file and named it myplugin.php and put some comments so that WordPress can understand that this is a plugin. And now today we are going to make our plugin structure a bit organized way so that we can work in it easily. So let's begin by creating admin folder first and inside the admin folder let's create CSS then JS and create another folder for image. Now let's create another folder and named it public and inside the public folder similarly let's create a CSS folder a JS folder and another image folder after that let's create an include folder in short INC and then a languages folder and after that let's create another file and named it uninstall.php now I'm gonna demonstrate why I have created those folders so let's begin with admin now I created admin because I want to keep everything separated for the admin side and similarly I created a public folder so that I can you know separate the public assets in that folder after that I create another I created another folder named it INC in where I'm gonna keep the other scripts or codes that I'm gonna need for this plugin in the future I also created a language folder this is for the internationalization in the future I'm gonna generate a port file so that everything you know get translated the next one is uninstall.php in this file we are gonna keep those code that we want to run when we uninstall the plugin totally and finally I'm gonna create two more files one in the admin and another in the public so that I can keep the admin code separately as well the public code separately and finally I'm gonna include those two files in the main plugin myplugin.php file so let's create those files let's begin with the admin named it admin.php and another in the public so named it public.php now finally let's include those files in our main myplugin.php file which is the main entry file for the plugin so let's do that So require require once because we are including files directly. So we're gonna use my plugin dot path. Admin slash admin dot php. Next, let's include public.php file as well.
it's my plugin path and then public slash public.php now let's get into the backend and let's check that everything is okay or not so let's go there and hit refresh there you can see no error occurs so we can guess that everything is running nicely we can check that out and we can you know recheck so let's add or let's open admin.php open the php tag and let's just die with wp die and check from admin and then go to the backend again and hit refresh as you can see our script is running correctly so let's remove those chunky things from there save it and also you know add code here to check whether the public is running ok or not so similar thing wp die is to from public and this time we say from public now why it is showing here because we haven't you know checked that whether uh, we should include this in the admin or in the public or we should run it directly for everything so let's head over into my plugin.php and you know let's do something like check is admin with if statement then you know open and close so this time we are checking if we are in the admin area or not if we are in the admin area then only we gonna you know include the admin.php and so this time let's do the opposite if we are not in the admin we gonna include the public.php file so this time now let's check in the, into the backend so let's hit refresh and the error is gone now now it should load in the front end though so let's check that out and here you can see the public from public has been loaded so let's remove those things from public as well so this is it this is the structure that we are going to follow or we are going to work in the future that concludes this video see you in the next episode so don't forget to subscribe also hit the bell icon to get the latest videos on time.